Hi everyone, Ryan here. Uh, today I want to talk about, in my mind, what I think is a massive game changer for social media communications. Uh, this week Instagram introduced a, an update to their app that is, um, in my mind, a massive, massive blow to Snapchat. Um, they introduced Stories, uh, which is, as you might have already heard before, um, exactly what Snapchat became most famous for or built built up among individuals and uh, and brands well they they became most famous for um, being known as a place to share not safe for work type content um, Instagram already doesn't have that stigma which is great but basically what happened was um, Instagram has taken one of the best features that Snapchat has and made it their own really um, they have introduced it alongside the usual Instagram feed. Now you can add on what a story is, small bits of content, um, generally ones that are less thought through, um, but really that stitch together your life and, and tell your story throughout a day that live for 24 hours. So it's photos, videos, general things that you would share on social media, but they only live for 24 hours. The great thing about and the great thing about them being on Instagram now and the reason why I think it's it's so valuable for the platform is as communicators, as people that want to tell our story and get our message out, even as an individual um, or as an organization, you want to make life as simple as possible for your community to find you and for people to follow along with you. Um, that's definitely something Snapchat hasn't done. They haven't made life easy for people to find your content, to follow along with you and, and engage with you. And Instagram already does that. Um, so why would an audience, you know, why would you want to be creating content across two different two different platforms? Make life easy as, as easy as possible. Tell your audience you're creating stories on Instagram and you're still giving them that great sort of really edited and polished content that you've been sharing in your feed anyway. Some people might say, well, and this is my, my general rule is, you know, fish where the fish are. You know, if your audience is that Snapchat audience, the, the youngsters, um, then, then be there. But to be honest, that audience is very, very similar to Instagram. So really, you know, the teens and the youngsters that were on Snapchat, they're also on Instagram anyway. So that saves you there. Um, it, as I said before, Instagram doesn't have that negative stigma around it in terms of that uh, inappropriate content being shared and easily um, accidentally shared sometimes. The other thing that's great about the fact that it's on Instagram now is that a lot of people were cons look. At they were worried about figuring out how to use Snapchat. It's not easy even to use it, and I work in social. Um, and same with the stories. So I think the barrier to entry now of getting people to understand something like stories, which you know is a lot of fun, um, is something that'll be introduced. You know, or people will feel better about trying it uh, on Instagram first. You know, uh, so so really, you know, my my, I guess my quick play around with it has been valuable. I've struggled to build an audience on Snapchat or at least know who's listening, but with Instagram, you can see exactly who's watched it from your feed. Uh, I've certainly got much higher engagement in the last few days from my Instagram stories than my Snapchat stories. People might miss some of the key features of Snapchat, like the uh, the filters and the, you know, the fun that you can have with those, but trust me, I, I guarantee they're coming to um, Instagram as well. And uh, I think it's going to be a great platform where, you know, not only do you, can you tell those public sort of uh, polished stories of your best content that gets shared on Instagram, but it's also a place where people can follow along with the fun things you've got going on throughout the day and uh, engage with you that way. So overall, a massive thumbs up to Instagram. And uh, unfortunately, at least for the people that, you know, hadn't had a go at Snapchat yet or weren't hadn't been building a huge audience there yet, I really think... Um, yeah, I don't know if they'll be they'll be visiting there too soon. So uh, sorry about that, Snapchat. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, you know, tell me your thoughts. You know, are you going to give it a go on Instagram, or are you sticking with Snapchat? Um, or did you never try Snapchat and now you're not not even going to bother? But um, I'd love to know. So thanks for listening.